everyone. Welcome to a new season of Admiral Ocean. I'm Alex Rayborn and I'm a senior this year with WGTV. I will be this year's host of our second season of Admiral Ocean. I want to start by welcoming everyone to a new year and I'm excited to get this year underway as we have a lot planned ahead. As we all know, this year feels very different from previous school years. There's no crowds of students hanging out in the courtyard. Instead, there's just deserted space. There's no sounds of laughter and conversation in the cafeteria. Instead, only a few students at lunch and it's quiet as a library. We don't see the smiles and greetings from our friends' faces as we move through the halls. Instead, the sterile fabric of a mask. Things are so different, but we're admirals. And like we do in any situation, we make the best of things. Dijanae Harris has the inside look at just how Gulfport High students are dealing with a totally different school year. COVID-19 has greatly affected the way that schools are operating this 2020-2021 school year. A few things that are different around Gulfport High is that students and staff must wear masks on campus at all times. Lunch is no longer eaten in the cafeteria as a sit-down meal, but it's now a grab-and-go concept eating in the classrooms, and even extracurricular activities have taken a hit due to the coronavirus. Although things are so different when you walk through the school, students seem to act as though nothing has changed. That is the way Gulfport does things. We take the situation and adapt. While almost are taking this all in stride, seniors are wondering just what their senior year will really look like. Homecoming dance is already off the table. Questions like, will there be a prom this year, and what will graduation be like, are constantly on the minds of our senior class. Only time will tell what the year will become, but no matter what happens, GHS will take this on in true Admiral fashion. Hey Go For High, we're so excited to tell you all about Key Club. Hey y'all, Key Club sign up start next week. If you are a junior or senior interested in community service, come to the guidance lobby Thursday and Friday, October 8th and 9th. During second and third block, $25 to join. Includes a t-shirt and national membership fees. Everyone, make sure you get involved and join Key Club. Despite some of the challenges we've had to face this year, the term is still flying by. Report cards will be distributed October 15th. There are a few other dates to keep in mind. On October 8th, we will be having a virtual picture day as well as school picture makeups. And on October 15th, we will be having seminars in the AIG building. Along with the many activities we have coming up this year, we also have some new faculty to introduce to the Admiral family. Let's go to Julian Dito with the story. The teacher, that wise, hard-working, self-sacrificing soul, who is an example for tomorrow's leaders, shaping the minds of today's youth. It's time to meet your new teacher. Hey guys, I'm Julian and I'm here with the newest addition to the GHS teaching staff, Miss Christine Grabe. We're uh, excited to have you here. Thank you, Julian. It's great to be here. So what classes do you teach here at GHS? I am with the Cab Institute, and I teach business, marketing, and finance. And what, uh, what would a student learn if they took those classes? Well, we are teaching kids how to be entrepreneurs after they leave high school. If that's a choice that they want to do is own their own business, I am giving them the tools to do that. That's awesome. How many years have you been teaching? This is my fifth year of teaching. I have taught K through 12 students. Last year, I was at West Elementary and I taught technology, teaching them keyboarding skills and mouse skills. And are you originally from Gulfport? No, my family and I moved here from Wisconsin last year and we are really excited and happy to be part of um, Gulfport on the Gulf Coast. The Gulf Coast is a great place to live and have a family. Um, I hear you're taking over DECA for Mr. Tucker. Um, what are your plans for DECA this year and how do you wanna like really take this group to the next level? I am excited to be the DECA advisor. It is a student organization, so I am going to be putting a lot of the responsibility on the students, the members, and the officers. We're getting our group of officers together right now. We're having our first meeting next week. Um, what I'd like to do with DECA this year is just bring everybody together as members, do some fun things together, and also prepare them for the, um, the competitions that are coming up. 
Awesome. Well, it's been great talking to you, Ms. Uh, Greb, and we're excited to have you as a part of the Admiral family. Thank you, Julian. As well as new faculty members, we also have new members to our WGTV crew. Let's go meet the members. Hey guys, I'm Morgan Miller. I'm a senior this year and I'm a reporter slash writer for WGTV and I'm so excited for this year. Yay. Hey everybody, my name is Kevin. I'm a senior. I'm a host, reporter, anchor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a host. What do you host? Um, I basically yeah, do I everything. Do nobody do. I run GTV. It's a one-man show I and mean, it's Kevin's. It is me. It's all about me. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it's called the Kevin, Kevin Show, basically. Pretty much. Forget Admiral Ocean. She did that. Did she? What's up everybody, my name is Kevin, I'm a senior and I am a cameraman and editor so you can find me behind the scenes but don't look for me. Hey what's up guys, I'm Julian, I'm a reporter slash writer for WGTV, I'm a senior and I'm really excited to be here, I love you guys. Hey my name is Eden and I'm a senior, um, I'm a writer and reporter for WGTV and I'm so excited to be here. Hey guys, here Nagnar Kita Tyler, WGTV, writer, reporter, and editor. Hi, my name is Ashana. I'm a senior and I'm a writer for WGTV. Hi, I'm Haley Wilson and I am in 11th grade and I am new to GTV. Hey, what's going on? My name is Taj Taylor. I'm a senior here at Gulfport High, and I'm the sports commentator for our pregame shows on all our live broadcasts. Hey, my name is Christina. I'm a senior, and I'm the lead editor and camera operator for WGTV. Uh, everyone is taller than Alex. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I just, think we're probably just the same height. Yeah. I was sitting oh, on the said, Last year we were going to do full house, and it was like a... Yeah. <laughs> that one's going to be able to tell. Hold on. Ready? Oh. Is my blend in here? Kevin, get down, down, down. I'm Julian. Wait, I think we should say, because it's the first episode. I think yeah. we should say, or should we go home? Home. Like, um. Welcome home. This is the place. This is the place. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. Hey 10th graders, we want to just make sure you know about an opportunity that's coming up for some of you. The Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Program, which will take place this summer, June 4th through the 6th, is a Mississippi um, seminar for leaders in Mississippi and Gulfport High School gets to select one 10th grader to attend this camp for free. If you're interested in applying for this, the applications are outside of Ms. Husley's door in the administrative hallway, and they're due by October the 14th. And this is a really great program in the summer that our students have attended every summer in the past. Um, and so those of you who are already leaders at our school, this is a great opportunity for you. And those of you who maybe aren't in a leadership position, but you're interested in it and you wanna become a leader at our school, maybe this um, would be a great program for you. So if you're interested in the Hobie summer camp in June, go by and pick up an application at Ms. Hesley's door. Thanks, y'all. Hobie has provided youth leadership development across the United States and around the world for the past 60 years. Founded on the ideals of identifying a high school student's own leadership abilities and cultivating their understanding of how to apply those skills to their community and the world around them.
Kobe has impacted over 500,000 students. Kobe Youth Leadership is life-changing experience for young people to think beyond themselves, develop needed life skills, and to improve the world around them. Thank you for watching our first episode of Season 2 of Admiral Ocean. Be sure to follow our Instagram at WGTV Broadcasting so you'll be notified when we post new episodes.